What's up YouTube, Mr. Lamacy here, and today we're going to be asking, is the Act 5 MERS finally viable? The answer may surprise you. Act 5 Mercenary has now been adjusted, where they have added a new one. You have the, the other one that uses Battle Cry, Stun, and Bash. So that Battle Cry is very new, and obviously Battle Cry is great. Look at that minus damage and defense. Absolutely huge if you want the single target. But there is now another one. It is a Frenzy, Iron Skin, and Taunting Mercenary. So a new way to play. And on this mercenary, of course, he is going to be dual wielding. So you can see right here, I've jammed just a casual grief last wish, uh, Ariat's face, and then we'll just put a casual fortitude on him. I'll put that Impossible. Now, of course, there is some idea right there of uh, a few different ways that you can play him, right? First off, you could maybe go for this. I mean, this is a pretty low fortitude. You could go for a um, Andariel's Helm, of course. But one of the also one of the additional updates that they added is now he can wear Barb only gear. As an Act One Merce, can also wear Amazon only gear and get the benefit of the plus two barbarian skills right there. So all of this, the combat skills, the barbarian skills, all of that is actually benefiting this mercenary right here. You can see current skill level 18. If we take this off, current skill level 14. So it is not just plus two to barb skills that benefits him, also the plus to combat skills that is doing the benefit. So that does open up a few more options, a few more ideas. Like I say right here, we can throw on this Ariot's face if we would like. Get that cannot be frozen with the cham. Get the all reds, the strength, the dex, the bonus AR, all of that, the bonus skills. Or of course, you can continue with just uh, using the Ariot's face. Very casual if you would like to use that. You get the higher lifesteal, the all, uh, the attack speed, the skills, blah, blah, blah. So just some things to think about um, for that however how does he play and this is this is the thing that we can go and we can have a little fun with right here so first off i'm giving him that might aura with last wish but i also am just going to be a smiter right here who just has fanaticism um, to help boost him now of course you could run something like infinity to or conviction to uh, lower his, the defensive mobs that he's trying to hit. You could do something with, um, I don't know, physical immune. You could do something with, you know, uh, just curses from a necromancer to amp damage everything. You could do all sorts of stuff for how you want to boost him. There's tons of auras if you want to give him blessed aim to increase his attack rating, if you want to Right, there's a lot of stuff. You could be a Boazon running Faith and boosting him up, whatever it is. But hopefully you are seeing one thing, which is this guy goes ham on some homies. Because he gets the frenzy, so he just turns into an absolute madman. Look at the mad lad go. Absolutely cracked. And if there was some way that you that you were trying to convince me to use a mercenary other than uh, the Act 2 mercenary with all of the auras and everything, you know, the nice stuff there, I think this would be the way to convince me. I'm not going to lie. At the same time, look at his health. He's got 12.7k defense right now using... An ancient armor fortitude. It's not even an ethereal nice fortitude or anything. Doesn't even have an eth andes or anything like that. His defense is cracked. His damage is cracked. His speed is cracked. Like I say, if I were ever thinking about it, of what I needed to switch mercenaries, this might be it. 
This might be what I needed right there. And again, this is, uh, you know, uh, he is running some good gear right now. But even if you, you can run dual griefs, you know, get rid of this, you know, five higher and last wish. Just run some dual griefs right there. I'm sure you could drop him down to a treachery as well. Maybe just give him an oath and something else. And, you know, you could definitely lower him down. And I think he is still going to be absolutely insane. Dude is an absolute monster. I I mean, guys, is this is this not the character? Is this not the thing right here? I know I say just two griefs. Some of you guys are like, just two griefs. But like two low runes in the grand scheme of things, it's pretty cheap. Let's check out how he does out here. Get him. Get him, buddy. Sorry. Aura. That's right. I was seeing how he did without the aura. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> Homie is just straight up insane. And again, in places that I would normally be worried and having to like teleport around to save my uh, my mercenary or something? I mean, it's... I, you just don't have to do it here. You just straight up don't even have to do it anymore. He just kinda saves himself? He's a one-man army. So you can just chill. You could also run, yeah, think if you're running like Fist of Heavens with this and just holy bolting from behind and then the minus defense from the conviction helping him hit. The dude murders people straight up. Wow. <laughs> So, like I say, I, I like him. I'm... Is he almost too good? Maybe. But I'm not going to take that away from you guys. Because I know we've all existed in a world of Act 2 mercenaries our entire lives. And I'm kind of okay with... Uh, having a homie that just runs around. Merce only speedrun? I know who I'm picking. Oh, physical immunes. Don't go there. I know who I'm picking. Go, meet love, go! I don't know, man. I don't know. Homie. Homie is a little too good. But not too, too good. Just like. Jeez. Look at him slay. Oh my god. He's fine. Don't nerf. I'm saying nothing. I'm just appreciating that we have another mercenary 
that can possibly play the game. And we can go and swap some stuff onto him here. Let's let's change him out a little bit. Let's give him duress instead of fortitude. Not in town. Don't know why it's not letting me make that swap right there. It seems glitchy. I'll put that to good use. So we'll put a duress on. We'll put oath on. Azurath. There you go. Much cheaper. This is very, very budget right here. Extremely budget. Yeah, I mean, homie still slaps. <laughs> and this is just Oath, Duress, Azurath, and an Ariat. Pretty cheap gear. Pretty cheap gear. So it feels like there's definitely a lot of stuff you can put on him and he'll still be doing really well. We can go back out here. Let him pound his way around. Yeah. And it's just the frenzy that I love as well. I think that's just my favorite thing. Once he just gets going, he just starts really ramping up and just getting insane. This is gross, you guys. This is absolutely disgusting. I am excited to see all of the things and, uh, and stuff that everybody comes up with for him. All of the combinations of what they use, plus what he uses. I mean, there is just gonna be some insane stuff. And like I said, I think my favorite part about him, besides just how cracked he is in every single way, my favorite part about him is that he seems to just lose life so much less. He's such a tank, which really plays into what they were trying to go for with this character. Which is, hey, we're going to make you a, a mercenary that is more tanky, right? He's an Act 5 barbarian. He should be tankier. And that's, that's what he is now. Now he's a big old tank. You can get into those scarier situations like this. And like my Act 2 mercenary does not survive much time at all in this. And, you know, he actually survived a pretty good amount there, and that's without life tap and a very low life leech. And not amazing gear. That's budget gear right there, and he's sitting in there. And I don't think I even finessed this in for him. So, man. I just... Wow. Can he even die? He can't. But it's tough. It takes a lot to kill him. I don't know. I'm I'm impressed. They've 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 created another mercenary that finally actually has viability. And once you gear him up, he just gets even stupider, but it seems like budget-wise, he still is decent and I believe there is some sort of combination where we could get him to do Ubers. Maybe. Though it'll be kind of tough with uh, Lilith. I think she might kill through. But maybe with me tanking or something. Who knows. Regardless, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. How are you enjoying him? If you've played him or not. Um, I mean, I just... It's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, maybe Holy Bolt healing him from behind or something. 
something like that. I hope you guys are having a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And, uh, wow. Act 5 Mercenary? I think it's gonna actually have a lot of value. I think we're gonna see tons of Act 5 Mercenaries, maybe even more than Act 2 Mercenaries. In very specific cases, it's like, well, having the Infinity on this is gonna be better there. But I think for a lot of people, especially as you're going up the, the ladder and stuff, and don't have all the best gear and Infinity and that stuff, I think this might be how people are running. We'll see. Mwah. I'll catch you guys later. Peace, YouTube.